Hello and welcome to part 3 of my video tutorial. In the previous part I showed you how I painted the black and white or grisaille layer of the portrait and uh, this is what you see in front of you now. And in this part I'm going to show you how I apply the colour using thin glazes or very thin layers of colour. Now, because I'm going to be painting a flesh tone eventually over this um, black and white layer, what I'm going to start off with, or what my first glaze is going to be, is what you would call a Vedaccio layer. Now, a, a Vedaccio is basically just a very thin glaze of green or sort of brownish green. And in this case, I'm going to be using just pure cadmium green dark. And because this is a going to be a tempera layer, I'm going to mix it up with my medium six egg tempera. So I've uh, mixed that up and I'm going to dilute it with um, a decent amount of uh, water as well because I want this to be a thin layer. So I'm just going to get a medium sized brush, load it up with the paint and just start applying it evenly all over the flesh colored parts of the face. So the reason behind this Vedaccio or green glaze is that green is a complementary colour to uh, red. And I'm going to be using a lot of red in the subsequent glazes. So the idea is that the green is going to complement the reds involved in the next glazes, thus creating a more subtle skin tone in the final result. So I'm just going to let that first glaze dry for about half an hour or so and then I'm going to move on to the second glaze which is going to be in oil colour. Now if we cut to palette cam you can see that I've prepared some oil paints already. Uh, the colours I'm using here are burnt umber, some alizarin crimson and some ultramarine blue. Now what I've done is mix equal parts alizarin crimson with the burnt umber and just added a very small amount of the ultramarine blue to create this uh, brownish red mix here which I'm going to use for the second glaze. Now, what I've also done is taken a little bit of the brownish red and mixed it up with uh, some titanium white. Uh, this mix is going to be used later after I've applied the second uh, glaze. Now the glazing medium I'm going to be using is when I mix myself um, after a recipe by uh, Ralph Meyer. Um, I'll make sure to put the full recipe in the description. So to make the glaze I simply just take a bit of the glazing medium and add it to the oil paint and I just mix it in. And how much glazing medium I add to the paint basically controls how thin or translucent the glaze will be. So as you can see here I'm just adding more glaze medium until I reach the consistency or translucency that um, I want out of this glaze. So now the glaze has been mixed I just want to get a medium sized soft synthetic or sable brush and just start um, applying the glaze over the painting. And like the previous uh, glaze before, you just want a nice even consistency over all the areas where the flesh is going to be. Um, here I'm just using a paper towel to just brush off some of the excess. Now what I want to do now is while this glaze is still wet, I want to take that light pink mix of the titanium white and the original glazing colour that you saw on the palette and I just want to take that on my brush with no glazing medium mixed in and I just want to work that paint into the highlights of the face. So as you can see I'm re-establishing the major highlights which might have been a little bit subdued in the glazing process.
So once I'm happy with that, I just uh, want to let that dry. And because now I'm working in oil paints, the drying time can take anywhere from about five days to a week. But once that is dry, um, I'll be ready to move on to the third glazing layer, which is the main flesh tones. So if we cut back to palette cam, you can see here that I've mixed five flesh tones here uh, from dark to light, and I've mixed them using titanium white, uh, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and alizarin crimson. Now to get the flesh tones, I basically just used my own flesh as a sort of reference guide. Now the glazing medium I'm gonna be using for this layer, it's um, called Rubens medium. It's a very thick consistency, it's very resinous. It's almost kind of like honey. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of it on my palette knife and just start to mix the medium in with the five paints that I've already mixed. Now the difference between uh, this medium and the medium that I used in the previous layer is that this medium has a sort of higher fat content as it were, um, meaning that there's more um, stand oil or uh, linseed oil in the mix. And this means that uh, the paint will be uh, less translucent and have more body, uh, meaning that the colours will be much more vibrant. Um, you can also see here it's going to have a lot more gloss as well. And I'll make sure to leave a recipe for Rubens Medium in the description as well. Okay, so now I have my paints mixed with the glazing medium. I just want to uh, load up my brush with the paint and just start painting out the uh, flesh tones. Now for this layer, I actually want to apply the paint a little bit thicker than in the previous uh, glazes. And this is actually in part due to the nature of the glazing medium itself. Uh, it makes the paint a little bit more uh, sticky. So you'll find you're, you're having to load your brush a little bit more in order to cover the area you need to. Also, when I'm applying the five various uh, flesh tones, when the, f the different tones meet, I'm going to be sort of blending them together in order to create a smooth transition between the different tones. It's just always mysterious and surprising. 
Well, it took a while, but the third glaze is now complete. Now, what I wanted to achieve with this layer is firstly to paint the flesh pretty much as realistically as possible. But I also wanted to paint it in the sort of most neutral tone possible. Now, what I mean by that is that I didn't want to paint any sort of warmth or coolness in the shadows or the highlights uh, just yet. I just want to concentrate on the sort of basic colour of the flesh. Um, because I'll be doing further glazes on top of this layer in which I can change the warmth or coolness of the shadows or highlights. But before I can do that I'm gonna wait for the paint to dry and because I was using this uh, Rubens medium, it's going to take at least a week to dry properly. Anyway, that about wraps it up for part three of this uh, portrait painting tutorial. In the next video, we're going to be doing the final glazes and details and uh, finishing the painting. So, uh, hope to see you for that video. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section and uh, I'll see you next time. You never, you never know what's around.